Good evening, everyone. Well, we are definitely tracking those storms that are just around the El Paso area, not really hitting us here in the Sun City. We are staying rather clear and dry from these storms. And if you'll notice, there's a lot of orange on our map. Basically, we are getting ready to trigger that heat advisory that is expected to take effect starting tomorrow, lasting for now until Sunday. But I do expect that to be extended until Monday. The reason we do have some very hot temperatures in the forecast. In fact, we expect to see temperatures at or above 105 degrees, but we'll get into that in just a second. I do want to zoom in into El Paso. You'll notice not much going on in the terms of rain. We did get to see an isolated storm moving through earlier today in northeast El Paso, but not really causing a lot in terms of rain for the Sun City. Just a nice little sprinkle coming down. So let's talk a little bit more about this heat advisory. Uh, we need to see those temperatures either at or or above 105 degrees as your forecast highs and overnight lows at or above 75 degrees. We definitely have that in the forecast for these next few days. So during this time, you definitely want to be staying hydrated and cool. How do you stay cool? Of course, in the shaded areas if you do have to work outside, but also wear light colored clothing. And uh, if you can wear, um, you know, long sleeves to keep you pretty much safe from those sun's rays, plenty of sunblock, hats, anything to keep you away from that intense heat during the afternoon hours. And let's not forget about our pets, our beautiful furry animals. If you do have them outdoors, make sure they're in shaded areas with plenty of water. And if you can, bring them indoors during the afternoon hours. It's very hot out there. And do not walk them during the afternoon or early evening hours. It, the pavement is still very hot at that time. Either wake up very early and walk them or wait until the late evening hours to walk them. If it's hot for you, it's hot for them. And of course, this is all thanks to this high pressure system that is settling right over much of the borderland area, New Mexico as well. And so what's going on is this is just trapping in that intense heat. We're going to continue to see those very hot temperatures for these next several days. You'll notice that our friends over in Arizona, parts of California, are shaded in that maroon color. That's where we expect to see 110 degrees or warmer, believe it or not. Here in El Paso, we're lucky enough to say we don't expect to reach 110 or above. We still are expecting to see some very hot temperatures, but not that extreme heat. 88 degrees, your current temperature at the airport really nice calm winds today. We topped out at 99 degrees and so tomorrow we expect to be at 105 so much warmer than today. That is why we're triggering that heat advisory 107 Saturday 106 Sunday. By the way on Saturday it looks like we are setting new record highs. We'll miss the record high on Sunday by one degree 105 at Monday and then those rain chances are expected to return Wednesday of next week. I do want to give a big shout out to our weather watcher tonight. This one goes to Nelson Cruz. Thank Thank you so much for allowing us to see this beautiful sunset in El Paso. And if you would like to become a certified weather watcher, join us at our event June 25th. That's a Saturday at 10 a.m. Send me an email at mcortez at ktsm.com for all the details. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.